So for today, we're going to be looking at the first ascent armor set for the Warlocks. If you guys know, we've already done the review armor and the shader video, which they're both right here. We look at how it looks, how shaders, my personal thoughts, and also how to explain to get the armor because apparently I didn't explain it enough, even though I've explained it twice in that video. And for the shader video, we are looking at just all of my favorite shaders. And then we've already done the Hunter and Titan videos. They're both right here. Definitely some cool sets. I will say, I don't think anyone lost in these sets. I think all of everyone got some cool pieces. That being said, Warlocks, I can understand why you would be a little mad considering some of these pieces are fucking weird. But let me know what you guys think. I definitely think I made some cool sets from this. But again, let me know in the comments below. If you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. It really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub, hit the bell notification. I'd very much appreciate that because it just feels weird when people come in just to check something out and then leave. I have more to offer. I have a lot of fashion in the channel. And if everything goes right and I'm not lying to myself, I will be posting other games as well, not just Destiny 2, but Final Fantasy 14, Warframe, World of Warcraft, if I from what I've heard is true, and probably start going into the fashion of this game or in general the fashion in games a lot more. So looking at other games as well. So yeah, I have a lot of things planned. Hopefully I have more time, even though I still have a full-time job. Either way, let me know what you guys think. Appreciate y'all. Apologies that this intro was longer than usual, but let's get to the first set. So the first set, we're going to be utilizing Reign of Fire. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. When I first saw this helmet, I was a little bit... How do I explain this? Not agitated. Just like, why? Why the ring on the on the, on the helmet? Like, why? Who Whose idea is that? I'm not mad. I just want to talk. Like, I just want to, like, I want to understand your thought process. Because, like, it's just not i don't know it's hard so the set that i made for this was obviously like a snowy biome type of soldier which i think looks really cool i think the crystal cream gloves with the dark age overcoat looks amazing that being said gift of the nine does not make all of the fur black which kind of pisses me off considering the bottom fur is black but not the top fur that's just something that's gonna bug me and you probably might just want to switch out the shader for something that has the the fur be all black unless that's how that shaders and that in which case I hate that I did not see that in the review video, which I've reviewed this armor as well. Um, for the bond, we're gonna be using Hardened Basilisk Bond. This is unobtainable, but you can definitely use other bonds in the game. This is not the best one for this. There is a bond uh, that is literally just a pouch. You can use that instead. I think that is the, if I remember correctly, that's the bond from the Cowboys. No, no, it's not. Where is that bond from? Hold on. Oh, it's the, Ossuary or Ossuary Bond. It's from Playlist. You can definitely get that. But yeah, for the shader, Gift of the Nine was an easy choice just because, again, I wanted something with black and white. I think too much white is just that too much. And I think Gift of the Nine just does a great job of just combining everything and making it look black and white. I know some people are going to be like, oh, black and white, that's so original. But I am going for a, a snowy biome soldier type of feel, which it, it kind of have to go for it because the chest piece has all the fur has the rope it just kind of speaks for itself so i know some people might get annoyed by that but that's what i'm going for let me know what you guys think about it as for the next set we're going to be using speaker's sight with the whatever the fuck that says ornament and for this one i decided to go for an engraved look because i i like this set that being said it, the helmet gives more like I think a Greek vibe or Roman I don't know which one I'm trying to say but that vibe it gives off that vibe and unfortunately Warlocks you guys do not have any chess piece that gives off that vibe I think Nemean robe is going to be the closest one and if I remember correctly isn't like Nemean lines or whatever Greek or I want to say Greek I'm terrible at this so let me know in the comments below but if that's the case, then that have technically Nemean Robes would be the best set for this. And I think it looks amazing either way. For the arms, obviously, First Ascent Gloves is what we're using. And this is an, a good example of why I love and hate arms for Warlocks. Because back in ye olden days, when, when Destiny won, the actual arms was what, made, was what made what shoulder pads you were using. It wasn't the chest piece the arms was what okay so like if you're using this arm you're gonna get this shoulder pad as well 
And in Destiny 2, they kind of was like, no, we're not going to do that. Shoulder pads are now part of the chest piece, which I think is a missed opportunity. Personally, that being said, we also do see cool things like the left side of this chest piece um, has that like cloth wrap attached to the actual chest piece. So I think we wouldn't have been able to see that with Destiny 1's version of armors. So I guess there's like a give and take. That being said, you're going to notice that there's some pieces for Warlocks that one side has a shoulder pad and the other does not. And the same thing for the arms. One side has armor and one side does not. And that's why I use Anemian Rogues. When I first saw the first Ascent Gloves, I was like, I know there's I know there's a chest piece that has like an armor pad on the right side. And I'm just going to use that, which was Anemian Rogues. For the boots, Hawks Fury boots, I wanted something, again, regal looking because everything in this bitch is super regal looking. And then Hexer Bond, I think is the weakest choice here. That being said, the reason I used it is because A, it has a glow, which is not that big a deal. But the bigger problem, or the bigger thing is that it has it, it's armored. So it just looks like all that side is armored and the other side is not, which is what I was going for. So I don't hate this set. I actually do like it a lot. Um... That being said, just know that the speaker site, specifically the ornament, the big like gold on the front takes off colors. So that might be a problem for some people. Personally, I was just like, whatever. It makes kind of sense. Whatever. I don't care. I'm not going to think about it too much. So for the shader and regal daring's what we're using because uh, it looks regal. I don't know what else to say. Sometimes it's the, yeah, sometimes the reason is just that simple. So let me know what you guys think about this one. As for the next set, we're going to be using the Chimera Sting ornament for the Necrotic Grips. And, uh, dog, I'm going to be on. I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all. I don't know what the fuck is happening with this set. I'm going to be honest. Like, it looks cool, though. Like, I really do fuck with this set. Some people might say it's a little bit of an Edgelord set, which is granted considering we're using new Edge Black Armory uh, shader, which is just red and black. But, man, does it. Does this. Set, I feel like this set goes hard, personally. For the helmet, Hexer Hood. For the chest piece, we're going to be using the First Ascent chest piece. For the boots, Virtuous Boots. And then for the Bond, we're going to be using the First Ascent Bond. So I actually really like this set a lot. Will I use this a lot? Probably not. Just because I have so many Necrotic Grips like looks that realistically, is this the best one? I don't know if it is. I would have to go to my folders to see like all of the Necrotic Grips that I've made over the years. Because... Uh, I do have folders of just all of the shader or all of the fashion that I've done for all the classes. It's crazy how much how time how much time it took me to do it, but I'm pretty proud of it. Either way, I I think this is like easily top five, definitely. Um, I honestly want to say Necrotic Grips is just not a good fit for this set. Um, I think something bulkier would have been a little bit better. That being said, it's rough. It really is rough because I do like this set a lot, but I just. I don't know what I would use for the arms and I really want to keep the virtuous boots just because they give off like so like my, the whole shtick of this was a modernized soldier slash knight and the helmet and the boots give off that vibe a lot specifically for the knight side and then the chest piece being so like tactical and just kind of like asymmetrical helps that vibe of like the being in like not con the fuck i'm being like in the future i don't know how I'm, I'm trying to think of the word i'm gonna get mad when i think about it because that's the word i want to use but like it's like old meets new type of thing so i really like this set let me know what you guys think and then last but not least we're gonna be using the first ascent boots i'm gonna keep it a thousand percent honest with you guys i don't really give a slight shit about this armor i think so here here's the good things i think the lightkin robes with the boots and the Meridian Constellation reps are a banger. I think all of these are way, like they they look good to get there. I think my issue is the exotic and the bond. I think those two are just not that good with the set. Very not like, not feng shui with every other piece. Like Gaze Beyond Worlds, I love this ornament, does not go well with this. Uh, th this exotic does not go well with it because the Gaze Beyond World is just a shader change technically. So, yeah, the Eye of Another World, I love that exotic. I just don't think it looks good with this set. Tang uh, Tangled Web Bond can work with this if the helmet has a glow with that color as well. So that's like my only issue. That be like, I honestly, I like this set a lot. I would just switch out the pieces that I said because I do think the first ascent boots go so well with the chest piece that I really wish I had doubled down on the helmet and the bond because then I feel like this set would have been amazing. That being said, 
Um, I probably will work on this a little bit more because I do like this set quite a bit. Like literally, in Silvered Snares shaders where we're using, I feel like that's technically cheating considering this shader looks good with pretty much anything. But I'm gonna keep it with it because I like the fact that I don't have to work with Lycan Robes and Meridian Constellation. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Meridian Constellation wraps takes shaders differently than the chest piece. So I you usually have to fight it, fight it a lot. But with this, it looks fine. So that is pretty much it for all of your sets. Let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite from not just the Warlocks, but the Titans and Hunters as well. I personally think the Hunters got some pretty good pieces. Titans as well, Warlocks as well. I honestly think a lot of you guys ate well with this armor set. That being said, there's better armor sets for sure. I think the... If, I don't know if I said this in the review video and I might be contradicting myself, but now Tony from now has probably a different opinion unless it's the same one. I would say hunters are definitely first and then warlock second and then titans third. I like the hunt the titan set a bit. It's just the fact that like there's just some pieces where I'm not a fan of. Warlocks, I like your pieces a lot more just because they're I can work with it a lot more. That being said, like the arms are going to definitely going to be utilized less than other pieces cuz I do like the helmet even though it kind of pisses me off. It still looks cool. Chest piece is cool. Boots are decent and titans is I I think what it is it's like your helmet's cool um it, like a lot of your pieces are cool i just don't have that like drive in me to be like yo i want to make some sets as much as like the hunters and warlocks so let me know what you guys think expect more armor videos because i am currently working on acquiring the seasonal armor which is the vex japanese look which let me fucking tell y'all i'm gonna be eating good with that armor because i like it a lot that being said, there's definitely better pieces, specifically hunters. I'm looking at those arms and I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. But the cloak, helmet, uh, and the boots are super dope. Warlocks, uh, that helmet is atrocious. I feel bad for y'all. And Titans, that mark is going to be fucking sexy. I am so excited to, to play this game again. And um, I still haven't bought the... Uh, the uh D, D armor considering like to be fair i'm not a big fan of it but i will buy it because uh i always get the armors and i'm gonna make some money from the videos i guess so i can technically call that a write-off which i should but yeah we're gonna be doing that and then i think i'm missing oh yeah yeah the seasonal armor season um season pass armor which oh i'm gonna have a lot of talk about with that armor because i do think it's a missed opportunity uh for some more vex armor i think vex armor would have been way better than fucking what we got but whatever and then we most likely will be making an an individual video for the the uh universal helmet for the classes i don't know why i was gonna say hunters and titans and warlocks yeah for all the classes specifically the season seasonal ornament the the level 200 one that's gonna be a while considering that's probably like in four or five months but we will be making a video on that we probably will be making a video on the rat king ornament because i do think it kind of goes hard and yeah i just have a lot of content that's not even con like talking about the other things that i'm doing currently uh posting the hunter uh, legendary campaign run which i think episode four is coming no yeah episode four is coming out today which is thursday and then uh i have the schedule up basically episode four from thursday and then all the way to wednesday will be the last episode and then from there, I'll probably combine all of the Titan and Warlock videos into one big one, not the Titan. It's going to be one Titan video and then one Warlock video, but all the missions into one. It's going to be like a long play and just doing that and then combine the Hunter one. So that way people can do that as well, because I do know people do like long plays and I personally do like them as well. And I hopefully, fingers crossed, will be making weapon videos because I do think some of the weapons we got this season are actual fire uh the raid armor as well which fucking good luck getting this armor dog it's rough um and i would like to make some videos on the weapons as well because i do like the video weapons overall just a lot of content you guys are going to be getting from me you guys are going to be eating good this few months because uh i have a bunch of shit the, the new exotics as well still haven't gotten the exotic class items but i will be making those and yeah just if you guys have any ideas of content that you would like to uh like me to make just let me know in the comments below and i'll try to get started on it but yeah, pretty much. I appreciate you guys coming up to this point. Always let me know if you got a, guys got up to this point. Uh, comment. Uh, ooh, what are you guys going to comment? Comment.
comment blue titty i guess i don't know let me let me know what the comment blue titties i don't know later